Pelosi's attorney says she is eligible because of her startup businesses. Her startup businesses made her eligible to withdraw money without penalty from her retirement accounts. I stand with Marilyn Mosby. I stand with Marilyn Mosby. Marilyn Mosby supporters, including community activists and clergy, rallying behind the claim the federal case against her is politically and racially motivated. I've said she's innocent. I'm saying the charges are false, and we're going to prove her innocence. Mosby is charged with two counts of perjury and two counts of making false statements on loan applications to buy a condo on the Gulf of Mexico and a large home near Disney World. According to the indictment, Mosby claimed a financial hardship under the CARES Act that allowed her to withdraw $81,000 from her city employee retirement account without penalty. I'm not going to get into the specifics of that. I'm telling you she's not only innocent, but we have professionals who she consulted with, and she qualifies on one of those on, under the statute. Mosby's attorney says the financial hardship experienced by Mosby in 2020 was a loss from her private travel business. Mosby and officials with the city state's attorney's office have said that business and two subsidiaries have no revenue, employees, or clients. I don't know how you define operational. I'm telling you those businesses were, were, were running and they were being pursued and they were legally on the books. The indictment alleges Mosby failed to disclose a $45,000 lien for unpaid taxes on the mortgage applications. Court papers indicate tax notices were sent to Mosby and her spouse several times. If she didn't receive it, she didn't receive it. I don't know what else I can t say about that. It's her credibility. She's uh, answering these questions in good faith. She didn't receive it. And it happens to millions of Americans around this country. Mosley's attorney is seeking a speedy trial within 70 days, and he also vows to put the U.S. Attorney's Office on trial during that process. Reporting live from Federal Court downtown, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.